what's up y'all i am back with another video and this is gonna be a little get ready with me video we're gonna be talking about i really don't have that much to say about it but i'm gonna quickly just i already put this on my face and wash my face and stuff but um i just want to quickly talk about Love and Marriage, Huntsville, season two, episode two. And we still on Melody's delivery. So tired of hearing about this. Um, I wish they were gone and get to the season. I wish they were gone and get to the season. And stop playing with us. We, like, we don't want no whole special. Y'all only had one season and y'all already doing delivery specials? Like, move on. And then my thoughts was also when Kimmy was talking to Martel. Um, once again, Kimmy was being logical. Like, your mistress does not owe you and your wife anything. Like, they're like, y'all don't have to keep calling her a peasant and doing all that. That's that's lame and I mean it's just pointless. And child, let me tell y'all, I did not realize how furious y'all folk in Huntsville was about this show, honey. They got all these groups on Facebook. And let me tell you, they be giving folk they they life on there. Okay? They be giving people the business on these uh, Facebook groups. Some of them, like one of them clearly is run by Melody Stan, you know. Um, but I'm in, I'm in a few of them. I don't be talking in them. I just be reading. And so what I saw in one of them was that, um, yeah, girl. So the mistress, she is actually writing a book, a little tell-all book. And she claimed that Marceau and Tisha have in their contract that they can't talk about their cheating. So she's supposedly going to probably spill tea about him too, I think, in the book. We're going to see. Also, I look a mess right now because I'm getting ready. But everybody, everybody on the show needs to remember that this is in HD. <laughs> this is in HD, baby. And y'all need to get them that hair done. Everybody here look a hot ass mess on their show. Everybody this week was looking a hot ass mess. Now, I, I ain't seen nothing about it last week. So I was like, I ain't going to give them too much. I'm going to give them an opportunity to pull it up, pull it together. But baby, y'all was looking a hot ass mess this week by the head. So they need to work on that. Everybody need to work on that. And so Mel was launching a line, a little, um, I guess, skincare line or whatever, which that is really good. But then people were saying, like, when they went to the website or whatever, um, when they had went to her website, they couldn't purchase anything. Like, the night of, I guess, like, it was nothing on there to purchase. Like, it was a website and everything, but it wasn't no products available for purchase. So I'm like, now why they didn't get that together before the show premiered now? Cause they definitely capable. Like, what's tea on that? Like, wh why y'all didn't uh, get that together? I don't understand. And Kimmy and Destiny, I guess they're going to be low-key beefing, but they really ain't got no beef. They need to start talking more about um, the doggone real estate. Because Huntsville's real estate market's, market is booming. And if they really are, you know, shaking and grooving in the industry, they should tell us what they're doing. I think they need to show more about their businesses. And maybe that's to come because they would they did bamboozle us into watching this dog on delivery special. The lighting is not good in here, y'all. But 
Anyways, y'all get what you get. So what else do y'all want to talk about? Because there wasn't much to talk about on that. That I guess happened since I last hopped on here. Money bag, yo. Bought Aria a lamb truck. Get your stuff, sis. Get it, sis. That's what I have to say about that. Is honey. Get your bag, sis. Like, get your bag. Really. Because they, them doing all this is promoting each other. Really. Because he coming up a little bit too. Because we were not talking about him. It was keeping us bucket. Like, pe pe all these people in the industry be getting in these relationships. Y'all think they just be for, for they all like want to date these industry girls and stuff like that. No, nah, they want to date these industry girls because they are helping boost their um their audience. Most of these rappers, their audience is female. Most of their audience is female. Anyway, so getting a hot female to help um to date you know, it's only going to just make him look better, look look more fly. And then if niggas want that girl too, they're just going to make him look more hot. So he already know the recipe. That's why he dated Meg. I really think that was definitely a publicity relationship, him and Meg. That's why they don't talk bad about each other because it was really, I, don't, I mean, you know, y'all can have sex and still, like, be an industry couple, like, just because y'all do the extra don't mean y'all really wanted to date to begin with. That's what I, that's just what I think. I don't think they really wanted to, him and Meg really wanted to date. I think they was just talking. Um, and they, uh, and they probably like worked out a deal. Like, look, we're going to date for a couple months. You drop some hot shit. I drop some hot shit during that time frame. And then, you know, we go up together, basically. We go up together, basically. And then, so I think then he moved to Ari. Now, him and Ari probably really did, like, probably just meet at the club or something. I was like, sure, you look good, I look good, let's talk. They probably just talking. But they can't deny that them being together is good for their relationship for sure. I mean for their um for their money profits and for their career for sure. It's good for that. Too. So, so him buying her a Lambo, sure, that's almost like an industry tax write-off. <laughs> if it was a such thing. <laughs> that's just a part of business. That's a part of his businesses. It's tricking off part of the rapper image is tricking off on girls and stuff like that. Am I lying or am I right? I think I'm right. I think that's part of the, um, I think, y'all know, I really, I'm not no uh, MUA or nothing, but I do a little something. I do a little something, a little something. So what else happened? August dropped a record. dropped a record about entanglement and it slaps it goes i mean i'm not even mad at, him at all get your bag get your bag bro i'm not even mad at him about it because like like it would be like he just talk he uh talked too much and all that okay and at least he making money yeah our girls talk too much too Karen Stephens and all them folk be telling people business too. If women get the benefit off of relationships, so do men. That's the way I see it. So, I mean, they got the, they talked about it. And then, what else? Y'all, not, y'all see the model. She, well, she close to me. <laughs> But I'm not sure these are for black people. But I want to try them. They're magnetic. 
lashes and liner. It's like a little set from Ardell Professional. This is like $10. And it comes with a pair of lashes and like um, the liner or whatever that you got to put on with it. So I'm going to try these out and we're going to see. I'll let y'all know. I'm going to put one coat on and let it kind of dry and then I'm going to put another coat on. Mm, it's really like jelly, yeah. This might be a bad idea considering I got a baby that like to grab stuff. <clears throat> so if you pull off these lashes, I'll tell you that too. I'm gonna let that dry a little bit and then I'm gonna straighten these little, this is my real hair, y'all. It's growing. That's, um... So Real Housewives, they're supposedly adding new people they're adding just a door which i honestly i i knew she was a real artist outside of the show the game but i didn't know that she was like that big and that popular that people would want to see her on there but you know i love real housewives of atlanta and i'm gonna be tuned in no matter what anyway so and then the other person that they added is a youtube star and you know what? She about to get them views. Because although I did not know who she was before this, I plan to check her out and see, you know, what kind of... I think she has like a family channel, but she's getting divorced now or something. I don't know. Demi Wispy, supposedly, so. Oh my God, it's working, y'all. It's like working really good. Oh my god, this is like actually pretty freaking lit. I'm not gonna lie to you. That is like so perfect. And easy. Like that was so easy. I don't know if you can really see them though. Um, I don't know. I might have to put some mascara on with them. I like it though. I want to know, Bravo, where is Housewives of Potomac? Like, I'm annoyed. What happened? <laughs> it's supposed to be that came on, I thought, like, and it has not come on yet. And I love Potomac. That's like my second favorite. Probably because, you know, it's got black people on it. <laughs> Just keeping it black with you. Just keeping it a ground with you. It has black, y'all got 15. Housewives with all white women. We yeah, only got two with black women. Atlanta and Potomac. Well, and then they didn't add a Garcelle to um, LA now. So sometimes I, I tried to catch up on it, but I really don't know what's going on. on that one. But um, I'm pretty much, you know, I'm basic. This is what, this is like my basic face. This is what I wear on a regular, except for these magnetic lashes. I normally just put mascara on my real lashes if it's a regular day. But I just wanted to try them. And I thought I'd make a video. And I'll let y'all know how they do throughout the day. I'm going to wear them all day. I'll let y'all know how they, how they work. Mm-hmm. Y'all need to go watch it. It comes on Saturdays on Oprah One for Network, I think. I'll check them. I'll put it in the description and let y'all know when the show come on and all that. Because I do think y'all need to watch and support the Huntsville people. And then I'm just, I saw like another show. I, I never heard of the network, but it's another little show with a bunch of women from Huntsville on it. Um, and it's an Atlanta-based production company as well. So, you know, Huntsville is on the move, if all I know. Huntsville is on the move. What's up, boo-boo? Be right here on my leg. So, anyways, make sure y'all like, subscribe, comment, share. 
like, subscribe, comment, share, like, subscribe, comment, share.